were kids growing up, we were taught to not race off the bank and just jump into the creek. First, check for hidden logs, rocky outcrops, and any number of nasty things that can wipe you out on impact. As adults, we know this and we advise our children accordingly. But when it comes to handling projects, we forget such simple homegrown wisdom and we jump straight into the details with little or cursory planning. There are much better ways of doing our projects and today we will look at some of those. Welcome back to year four of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, and best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are looking at giving you a big edge in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront. Let's be at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 165, and we are talking about project management fundamentals. So let's get going. Projects have been around for a long time, and of course, in the modern era, we've accumulated a vast amount of best practice on how to manage them. It isn't usually that we don't know what to do, it is that we don't actually do it. We get into trouble when we just leap in and dig straight into the logistics, the entrails, without giving enough thought to a macro 360 degree view of what is involved. We see this tendency all the time. Any group of people, given a project task, go straight into the gruesome detail. In project planning, a pinch of planning goes an extremely long way. Having a common and clear set of rules helps ensure we are all approaching the project in the same vein. Here are 10 rules for ensuring that what needs to get done is completed on time and to expectations. Number one, mind our business. Keep our eye on the ball, especially defining what is inside and outside the project scope. This often changes midstream, so we need to be nimble and adjust accordingly. Number two, know the customer's requirements. Double check, you have probably understood the detail. Document it and keep checking against that documented record, especially if there are changes needed. Three, plan well. The plan will cover the scope, schedule, cost, approach, etc. It'll involve task owners to get buy-in and apply a strong reality check to what you've created. Strangely, the planning value comes from the creation process and not just the project outcome. It forces some hard thinking though. Prioritizations, player commitments, clear controls, smooth coordination and cooperation. Basically, the things at which most companies are usually rubbish. Four, build a great team with strong ownership. Motivation of the team is critical, so we need total clarity around the why. Trust, communication, and sufficient resources and a mutually agreed deadlines. Five, track progress. Frequent reviews, wide visibility, broad communication, and clear goals are needed. These are hard and soft aspects to most projects. So ensure we don't overlook the soft skills needed to succeed. Six, use baseline controls. These are the fundamental building blocks against which we steer the project forward and against which we alter course when needed. Find out more, we come back from the break. If you want to be successful as a leader, 
do the leadership training for managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Number seven, write it, share it, save it. Here is the holy grail of project management. Write it down. If it is written down, it doesn't exist. Document procedures, plans, evolving designs, baseline controls are compared against the preserved records. Repeatable projects especially need this record to which are added the fresh set of insights and learnings of the current project. Eight, test it. Jumping into new territories with both feet can be high risk. Better to develop test cases early to help with understanding and verification of what is required to succeed. Resources and time are the most often misunderestimated elements. So an early testing helps to flush out the gaps. Nine, ensure customer satisfaction. Make the customer's real needs the prism through which everything is viewed. Undetected changes in customer requirements or not focusing on the customer's business needs can in fact blow up in your face. Number 10, be proactive. Be proactive in applying these principles and in identifying and solving problems as they arise. Review and search for problems knowing there are people dedicated to hiding issues. Vigilance is a virtue we all need to practice when working on projects, especially anticipating trouble before it arises or becomes too explosive. Stop the same old, same old, and take a fresh look at your methodology for approaching projects. It seems so simple, but it can simply go wrong so easily. You might be surprised at how loose and inefficient your current methodology is. We can always do better. And these 10 rules will help us on that journey. Please subscribe to The Cutting Edge, Japan Business Show on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dale.com. Awesome value, so check it out. You might also enjoy our other shows for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, every second Tuesday for the Business Touches in no Share Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcasto. On Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays, we do Japan's top business interviews. Now, you get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show, every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews, and we release these on YouTube. In episode number 166, we are talking about minimalist presenting. So, Yoroshiku, onigaitashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. I've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.